This is going to be a beginner level tutorial for modeling a head or face. Essentially what I want to show you here is a step by step process through the whole procedure of modeling. However, there will be a jump in between the detailing process of my own, which will be the only time where no explanation will be. Next, this tutorial process is for beginners who want to learn how to model a head, not for beginners to the program. I am not going through to show you how to use the program in specific, but how to use a technique to model a head. Also, I would like to say is that I plan to describe what I believe is necessary for the process, which means I am going to try and keep this simple and sweet. First, I would like to go over three basic concepts to keep in mind while you model your character. Number one is quads. Try to model all organic objects and do quads and not tries or five sided or more polygonal faces. The reason why is it could cause pinching when they are not quads. The only time this does not matter is when the non-quad faces do not dynamically deform where the camera will see it or where it is just genuinely not necessary for it to be all quads. Such place for that would be behind the ear or potentially under the hair or something like that. Number two is image alignment. If you are working from a reference image, try to make sure it is aligned properly between the front and side views. If they are a little bit off, that does not matter too much, so long as you understand that and compensate for it. Number three is edge flow. You need to have proper edge flow around the eye and mouth. Next, I want to briefly describe three methods of modeling a head that are commonly used. Number one, plane extrusion. This method involves drawing your topology onto the image, then create a plane and extrude the edges to match with the drawn topology. The pros and cons of this method, the pro, it allows you to understand the topology of the face a little bit better. The con is this method is extremely time consuming. Number two, box or plane model. Start with a cube, object, or plane, slice the front faces and extrude or inset them to get the eye and mouth edge flow set up and sculpt from there. Pros and cons? Pro, again, helps you learn topology. The con is time consuming and odd edge flow going around and or to the ear hole. Last but not least, number three is sphere modeling. Now there are two different ways to do this. One is where the sphere axis tries are going along the Y axis. Pros and cons, Pro has the basic shape of the head, thus shaves off time from the modeling process. Con, again, bad edge flow going around and or to the ear hole. The other way to sphere model is the way I will show you, which is sideways sphere modeling. This style helps to truncate all cons from other methods. Let us start the process. First, make a sphere in the side viewport so the axis tries are going along the x-axis. Make the sphere dimensions 8x8, then delete half the head, then the tries, and the back bottom corner of the faces. Reshape the verts to align past the eye on the side of the head to get the basic shape of the head. Then extrude or inset the front two faces and delete the eye area and the mouth area. Reshape the verts again around those areas. From this point on, I will say reshape when you need to reshape the verts rather than saying, you know, the whole sentence. Then insert more edge loops coming from the eye and mouth. Reshape. Add more edge loops around the mouth matching the bottom of the nose and the top of the nostril. Then one edge loop around the eye. Reshape. Extrude the nose face out, then the nostril area and keeping it level. And then one more time and bring it in for the hole. Reshape accordingly. At this point, you should get rid of all six point stars. These are verts that have six edges running into them. Some you may not see until later when you duplicate the head, so look for those along the duplication line on the head. There are five on this head at the moment. One on the top of the forehead, then on the bridge of the nose, the two corners of the nostril, and one on the outside cheek area. Reshape if needed, add more edge loops for the eye and the lips accordingly, then add more going around the top of the head leading into the ear hole. Reshape accordingly. Then at this point continue to add detail to the face where it is needed. Then move on to the back head area for leading into the neck next. Extrude the faces out and reshape again and merge the verts. Now extrude all the bottom edges out for the neck and again reshape. Add detail where it is needed. 
For this woman, she doesn't have much of a defined neck, so there's not really much reason to detail it. Next, we will move on to the ear. My preference here is to fill the hole and use that face to create my ear by extracting it from the head and extruding the edges out. Delete the filled hole face and continue extruding the edges to shape the ear. For this tutorial, I will use just a basic shape of an ear, not too detailed. Afterwards, take the edge loop we made for the ear and simply reattach the ear to the head and attach the matching verts and move the ear back close to the head. The reason why I use this method is because it makes the ear with the same amount of verts that the head has for the hole. So when we reattach, it becomes a very simple procedure. At this point, we are done with the modeling process. Go through and check your model. Make sure to add in eyelids and the inside of the mouth and so on. And add the extra detail where extra detail is needed. I hope this tutorial was helpful. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to email me.